Okay, I'm at 70 Gorham Street, and this is the house of Lisa Doherty. And we're doing an alarm test uh, on her grinder pump. Go ahead, Lisa, add that last water. Uh, Lisa's going to add a bucket. Okay, she just added three more gallons of water to the system. And that brings the total that we've added up to 33 gallons, which is more than enough uh, to set off the alarm. E even if we had measured it uh, not quite perfectly, it still would be enough because it should only take no more than 24 gallons to set this off, even if it was at the low level. So by going up to 33, we're well over the alarm level here. And um, if this alarm does not go off, then this is going to be a fail on her alarm system, and it's possible. Lisa has had two backups at this location, and she's fairly confident uh, that this alarm is not going to go off because it didn't go off on either of her two backups. And um, Lisa, uh, we're not really 100% sure that uh, this grinder pump has been inspected by the town. Uh, it's possible that it hasn't. Uh, Lisa, why don't you tell us uh, about your inspection for this grinder pump? Uh, what happened? Um, I got a, received a letter in the mail. I never received any contact from anyone. I emailed somebody and said, should, should you, you know, I'm ready. I'll make an appointment. And I still never heard from anybody until you came here and said that possibly they inspected it. <laughs> okay, so... It is possible that they possible. that they didn't come but and I inspect never saw it. Anyone inspect it. Now we know that they did a number of inspections yes. when the people were not home. So it is possible they came and inspected, but it's also possible, possible. they didn't. Uh, because we've put in 33 gallons, uh, this test I'm going to say is a failure, and we're going to report this now as an alarm failure. Correct. And if somehow you, you fell through the cracks, now this will just be a little extra incentive for them to come out and uh, maybe and do complete your test. And um, you also, you've had two backups here. I did have two backups. I what, and why don't you tell us about those briefly? Both backups, uh, both times, the only way I knew was that my uh, downstairs shower filled up with um, surge. Yeah. And the alarms never went off either time. Yeah. And um, so you have a, uh, a shower in your basement, right? Correct, yes. And... Um, At this point in my house, yes. That, and that point is low enough so that... Um, her grinder pump cover is right there. Right. Uh, if she had no plumbing in her basement and she had a uh, a, a, uh, a pump failure, that uh, overflow could come right out of the cover. But right. in the event that she has a, uh, a shower drain in her basement, Correct. that Mom very frequently is the spot yes. where the water will come out in her house. Yes. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to go over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the, uh, the the breakers for the power to the pump. Now. That now power is to the pump. So even though the alarm never went off, we should be able to hear noise I do. I hear it. coming from her grinder pump cover, which I can hear. Uh, and this means, of course, that the pump is working. We kind of knew that, mm -hmm. that it was working. Um, so what we have here is uh, the pump is working, but uh, her alarm is, is, is a complete failure. Um, the... Uh, The other part of her alarm, I'm going to turn that off briefly. If I turned, her system also has the battery backup box. This should actually produce an alarm, even if uh, the even if there was no power applied. Now, in this case, uh, it a almost doesn't matter for us to test the uh, battery backup unit because the, the main alarm is not working and that, that's that's a serious problem so um, we're gonna report this as a uh, as an alarm failure and then we'll follow up uh, with Lisa later to see how how things go hopefully this will get uh, repaired inspected and repaired and uh, Lisa thank you very much thank you